right, so where did we lead off? Well, usually we started with hello and welcome to part three. <laughs> right. This is how we normally start the video. <laughs> yes. My bad. <laughs> No, it's fine. Uh, do you realize that we upload uploaded part two like a few days ago, and people are requesting part three already? So, well, yeah, you're stopping it in the middle of the story. Why wouldn't someone go? Yeah, I want part three. Yeah, but you know, we just uploaded it, like, and and people yeah, are like, days yeah. ago. Yeah, that's awesome of you. It's Thank like you. the worst thing is when you're watching an anime, and then oh. I'm at the end. I have to wait till next week for another episode. It's like the worst thing ever. It's even worse than Dragon Ball Z when they, I'm going to power up throughout all the episode. Oh, I didn't really care for Dragon Ball Z. They made just things more powerful and more powerful and more powerful and more powerful to the point where it was really just no point. Which I guess makes it a very, like, guy anime. Yeah. I love Dragon Ball Z. Anyways, off topic. Welcome to how... Uh, it's almost how I met your mother. <laughs> well, that's an interesting one. Welcome I guess that's in it. It's true from a point, certain point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to I met my wife in an online game part tres. One of those tres. Oh, come on. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Um, mm. Pretty much where we left off was I had gone to Israel, which was December. Right. So obviously January is the beginning of the next year. Um, right when I came back from Israel, I uh, moved out of my parents' house and I moved into my aunt's house on the other side of the state and I did college. Um, also at that time, Slava's like, I need to come over. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, she came over. She's like, I, I want to do that too. I, I want to fly. I want to, I want to, I want an her. adventure. I want an adventure <laughs> and I want to meet her family. I want to see her again. It's like two weeks. It's just not enough. I need more. I need two um, weeks. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got two weeks. I need, I need endless of that. Right. <laughs> endless. So <laughs> did you get a ticket right? off like right when i left or was it like within a couple weeks or something or i don't remember i bought a ticket uh, i i came at start of april that's when mm -hmm. i came to america but i i, I know I don't remember but... if i bought like a month before or like two months i that i don't remember okay well january february march april it was only four months after i had just seen him for the very first time so yeah, I think it was like two Say months. A month or two, and then yeah. he bought his ticket for two months out. So, meaning he bought it end of February. Mm, yeah. And then um, he came over mid April because you were over for a week. A week and a half to a week. Uh, you were there for you were there for your birthday, meaning you probably came you were you came over the end of April then. Do you remember <laughs> what happened to me before I came to America? No. So I'll tell you, it's a funny story. I never really were flew, flown. I don't know how to say that. I never really were flying to anywhere. So flying to Kira, to America is the very first time for me, technically. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't know how the dates throughout the night work. So I'm like, hey, Kira, I'm flying in two, da I'm flying in two days. I'm going to meet you. And she goes like, no, you're flying tomorrow night. I'm like, no, no, no. It's it's 12 a.m. in two days. Like, Slava, no, you're flying tomorrow. I'm like, wait. What do you mean? That's what I, I said. I do remember I, this. I was like, no, and we were not arguing, but it's like, are you sure? It's like, yes. No, I'm like, I'm sure. It's tomorrow's night. Like, yeah, night. No, night like night. Actually, tomorrow at 12 I need to be at the airport, and my f uh, flight was like at 2 a.m. or something. It's like, wait, now that you s say it like this, it actually makes too More much sense. I'm like, I'm calling my boss. Uh, remember I said I won't be here for, uh, I don't know, in two days? Uh, apparently, I'm flying tomorrow. I had a doofus moment. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh, I freaked out because I thought you'll miss your flight. Like... 
I was. He was seriously thinking he was the one right, which he normally does think that he's the one that's right. <laughs> he is stubborn like that. And uh, it was uh, so hard to like get him to understand that he was not flying out in 48 hours. Uh, he was like flying out in like... 12? Not 12. Yeah, like 18 hours. Yeah, around that. I'm <laughs> just like, it's literally tomorrow night. night. Like tomorrow night. Yeah. And, and he kept thinking it was like, I don't even under, I, I, it's been so long that I don't really quite remember what you were thinking. Like it was in the afternoon. I think you were thinking it was in the afternoon, like the next day. Yeah. So instead of it like that night, he was thinking it was into the next day exactly. at, at noon. So it wasn't exactly 48 hours. It was like a day and a half. It was confusing. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is not PM. This is AM. And he's just like, well, yeah, p.m., which would be noon. No, 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 wait. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm the one getting confused here. How how I said I do it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to yeah, remember I, now. Basically, I thought I'm flying uh, at noon. Yeah, pretty much he thought he was flying at noon. I was like, no, you're flying at the start of the next day. You're a.m., like zero 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 zero. Yeah, exactly. Like not even one minute into the next day. And not 12 zero what? zero. <laughs> What? No, no, no. I'm, I leave at 12. Yes, you leave at 12. Midnight 12. Uh, no. Uh, that is so funny <laughs> to, to look, to remember that that is like after an hour of explanation, like, Kira, I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, finally. He was like, oh my gosh. I don't know how I explained it, but I ended up explaining it in a way that You just finally said it clicked. so slowly and it was like, <laughs> the repetitive okay. saying the same thing. No problem. Over and over I'm calling my time. boss now. I don't care that it's ten o'clock uh, ten at night or something. It's like, She's like crap, yeah, I no. can't make it in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I <laughs> the day come, my brother Alex drove me to the airport and thankfully because when Kira was going back home, she kinda showed me how the air, the air yeah, the airport works where you go. So it was like, okay, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Never did it before. But it's actually very easy. You know, you have all the information on your ticket and it's like, yeah, okay, you need to find gate, to gate and mm -hmm. number. And that was super easy. Yeah. And then it was like 2 a.m. and I was uh, up boarding. Mm -hmm. And like, okay, first time on a plane. Which would have been 4 p.m. for me. Yeah. I think I messaged you like I'm boarding or something. I was yeah. talking to you. So yeah. I'm sitting on the plane for the first time and i'm like the, f the first thought in my head i'm going this plane's going to crash because you know because you have anxiety, anxiety. <laughs> don't we all yeah <laughs> in some and way no no it takes some time for the no, plane to start you no know, moving and all that and i didn't even notice that we were in the air all of a sudden i i feel the planes moving it's like okay any moment now any moment now why am you I didn't not feel the, the lift off? No. Oh gosh, I can always feel it. I'm like, yes, I'm in the air. Now I can notice it, but I'm just like, what's going on? Why are we still? Oh my gosh, we don't I, look I, out the window. I, I see Tel Aviv all of a sudden. People are like this tiny. And then you know, like, after uh, like an hour of being on a plane, I was like, I love this. This is fun. This is like awesome. I told them that flying is not as bad as you make it. It's as not. You're making it seem. Actually, it's I, really It's not. the safest thing, travel. I think it is. It's flying is, I think, the safest way of traveling. Well, you don't have drunken pilots flying uh, to you or traffic. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> the funny thing about uh, flying they were feeding me so much that I got to the point like please no I I'm not hungry it's like well you want to eat this like no no I, I just ate like two hours ago I'm fine we have cake like, no please. what about and they pudding? were like that on my flight it was like you're starving here's some water you're starving you're waiting for dinner and finally they give you dinner not that it really mattered because I didn't I was too nervous to really eat anyways and I was picking around my food and then that was it. Yeah, no. <laughs> And then they give you, like, another thing of water. Yeah, no, that, they were feeding me too much. Yeah. They even asked me, do you want tea? No. Do you want water? I'll take water. Do you want beer? Wait, what? Yeah, you can get beer. Yeah. You can get beer or any kind of... It was like, no, I'll, I'll just stick with water. <laughs> like, you want coffee? I'll stick with water. Is that... 
really pushy in a, in a, in a nice way, but. Well, it's actually really important to drink water while yeah. you're flying because you can get dehydrated really easily. Yeah. So I was flying. I was watching movies. I mean, like all of us. And no Wonder Woman. Ugh. I don't remember what I watched. I think was... I watched Forrest Gump on my way to uh, Israel. You have an amazing taste. Yeah, I do. Life <laughs> is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. Oh, and man. I got the best one. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so we were getting close to uh, getting to Los Angeles, and I'm like, okay, hey, what do I do next? So I started talking with one of the flight attendants. You didn't get to Los Angeles. You went to the East Coast. No, I, I flew for Los Angeles and then to Spokane. Yeah. Okay. When when was the mix up at the border? Because that wasn't... Uh, oh, no, that was my second uh, time. Okay, never mind. I'm not that talking about smooth. that. Nope. No. <laughs> so, he explained... I'm, I'm giving spoilers of the next year. <laughs> In the next episode. <laughs> you know. So, I was talking to the flight attendant. So, what's happening next? Because now I'm going to blah, blah, blah. I said, well, it's pretty easy. When you, you know leave the plane, there's no other ways to go. Just go forward. You know, you go through customs. And mm -hmm. eventually, you take your stuff. And you go to your next destination. Like, Mm -hmm. simple so no and going through this long line doing customs scary officers everywhere <laughs> dogs everywhere like no unleash well yeah making yeah. sure you're not bringing drugs or yeah. any other contraband like stuff yeah so i'm going to this small kiosk and they want to take my fingerprint so mm -hmm. i have to put my fingers and have to press very hard on each each fingers to collect me like took me like 15 minutes to do all this because they don't want to scan anything <laughs> okay so <laughs> after that was done i actually went through actual customs whatever it's called no that was part of customs i, I would say all of that mm -hmm. is customs yeah border patrol pretty border much patrol is what customs to, is yeah so actually well, was going through talking to officers whatever mm -hmm. asked me for my passport my visa mm -hmm. they didn't even ask me any questions like next I'm like oh cool because he was asking everyone a bunch of questions i'm always that lucky one that never you mm. must not look suspicious. No. I was smiling. I was like, hello, officer. There you go. He didn't even look at me. Yeah, when I... you're you're being cool about it, you're not nervous or anything, there's nothing for them to be like, mm, on, you know? Yeah. I also was like nice and I figured I'll ask him. I was like, do you know where I take my luggages? And I was like, oh, yeah, just keep going forward. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll see. Uh, I forgot what is it called. Uh, Probably the board where all of the flights are going to be on and tells you yeah. where your gate is. And he actually was very nice and he told me whenever I pick up my stuff, there's just this ho one hole, uh, only one place to go. Yeah, and it's pretty straightforward, literally. A, <laughs> yeah, there'll be a guy. And if I have, if I'm f flying somewhere else, for example, I told him I'm flying to Spokane, he told me, I'll talk. I'll talk to the guy, and he'll take my stuff to putting on the next plane. He said, it's "Oh yeah, super you don't easy. take it. Yeah, they they switch things for you. The downside to that is a lot of times people uh, lose their luggage because yeah. they put them on the wrong plane. It sucks." So he just told me, "Make sure to show the guy the sticker because there was a sticker on yep. the luggage. It says from where to where." Mm -hmm. He just wanted to make sure that I know what to do. It was yep. really sweet of him to so like. I'm just doing it. Like, hello. I was told to talk to you. It's like. Spoken, yeah, making sure. Okay, you'll see uh, your stuff on whenever you fly back. Yep. So I got to my gate and I was waiting for like forty-five minutes to mm -hmm. get on a plane. Uh, yeah. Oh, while I was waiting, I, I went to find a coffee shop because I wanted coffee. I was very tired. <laughs> like, uh, I was talking to the barista that made me the coffee. It's like, well, back in Israel, I'm also a barista. <laughs> Like, oh, really? You came from Israel? So you have we'll a start... lovely female voice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. So I was like, oh, okay, I need to board in like 10 minutes. And, uh... Can we hear that female voice again? What female voice? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so I get on the plane. 
And uh, it was like an hour and a half flight to Spokane. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, there was a lady sitting next to me, and she was talking that she j was flying from Japan to Los Angeles and from to Los Angeles to Spokane. Yeah. Yeah. She. We were talking all this time. We're telling you where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So I was telling her, oh, I'm here to meet up with my girlfriend, Kira. Mm -hmm. She lives in Washington. She's now in Spokane at her aunt's... Uh, she lives there now. And how we met, she's like, this is the coolest story I've ever heard. So inspirational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if I remember right, she wanted me to add her on Facebook. I don't remember if I told her how to find me. So I don't really remember. I was so tired. I. Kind you don't of... remember her name? No. I, th I think she added me. I, I don't remember. I didn't have a signal on my phone. You I have told... too many friends on your Facebook to probably even know right. which one was her anyway. Yeah, I told her what's that my name. sucks, though. And, uh, I didn't wasn't able to check. Well, if, you know, by any very tiny, small chance that she ends up clicking on this video off of Slava's Facebook account. Right. Put your name and say who you are in that the comments. Me. Yeah. <laughs> she was very sweet. Like, hey, hey, my first American person that is... Well, technically, no, that was the officer I speak to, but... Spoke to. Spoke to. Thank you. My English isn't my main You language. have very good conversational English. You're right. But your English is basic. Yes. 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 So, I get to Spokane finally. Woohoo! Same thing. I saw an officer. I'm like, uh, where do I get myself? I'm like, oh, you just explain to me what to do. Because mm -hmm. I like to know details about where to go, how to do it. Cause I'm like that with the driving. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, I freak out if all of a sudden I need to take that left turn. I'll be like, no, it's not happening. I'll take the next left turn. It can reroute me. <laughs> so I get my stuff and I see Kira with her parents and she's like this. I'm like, I'm I'm like oh my gosh, hi. And, and I'm running and I'm hugging her and I'm like, hi, I'm Slava. I'm introducing myself to her parents. But, like, but before we continue with everything... I need to pee. He had to go to the bathroom. I was like this. So bad. I run into the bathroom and f all the bathrooms were taking busy. There was a lot taken. of up taken. Yeah. By officers. I'm like, ooh, I'm, someone's in trouble here. <laughs> no. It's so, not necessarily true. Yeah, I know. But I said it as, as in a joke. That's how you head. were thinking. In my head. It's like, so you're trying to lighten the going mood on by here? putting a joke out there to make yourself feel a little better. <laughs> yes. Got it. So after peeing for a full minute and a half because i don't know what happened with my body you had a very 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 full bladder yeah very full bladder <laughs> <laughs> so i went back introduced myself to kira's parents again and but we, this time in person yeah like really introduced yeah I was like okay i don't need to pee anymore now i can talk like a purse actual person yes <laughs> and we started driving to town of Spokane. Technically, it's the airport's already in Spokane, but mm -hmm. we're driving for like 45 minutes. 40 no, minutes? It's like 20, 20, 25. I don't remember. Amy's house is not that far from uh, the airport. If you were driving to Grandma and Grandpa's house, which is an elk, right? that would have been more like an hour and a half drive. Hmm. So we get to Amy's house, Kira's aunt, and I got a big welcoming from Amy. Uh... Who else was there? Shane and Luke were in there, right? No, they would be there. They lived there. They oh. could have been like, Shane could have been at college at the time and then coming home a little later, but Luke would have been there unless he was at his dad's house. Oh, okay. I remember now. When we got there and I put all my stuff, your mom gave me a guitar. It's like, here, play something. It's like, I'm oh, tired. No, no, no. That was a little bit after a little while. You were able to settle in a little bit. That's the first time I saw that this happen right away. Oh, we went to no. play with RCs. Remember? Yes, that was a different day. That was on the same day when I came. Was that? The same yeah, day? that's where I saw Luke. He was playing with Tim. Okay. So when I came over, uh, the so okay. because he left at two a.m. his time. It was four p.m. my time, but because his flight was a. Uh, 14 hours plus two hours plus whatever your a layover was. Did you have a layover? I think your layover was like four hours. No, I thought it was like four hours. Oh, I sorry. My boarding was 45 minutes. Yeah. Yes, my layover was four yeah, hours. Yeah, so let's see here. 14, 18. So it was like 20 hours from leaving Israel to get to me. No, so, sleep, basically. Yeah, by the time he actually came and saw me, I think it was like... 
8 a.m. or something like that. You have to take away the time difference. So him That's coming amazing. to me is actually technically going back in time for him. So 2 a.m. You have to subtract that. It was it's it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated stuff. Yeah. So, so I do remember for a fact after we. And, oh, I remember, he was so tired. Oh, he yeah. was so tired, and I'm like Slava, you have to stay awake if you go to bed. At any time before a reasonable bedtime, I remember reasonable that. bedtime, you are going to be awake all night and you're going to stick to your time zone in Israel. That I told is him true. it's hard. And he's like, I can do this. Oh, I can do this. Totally. I can do this. It's totally fine. So, you know, we had our day. Um, Mom did end up giving him a guitar, which he still has. I'm going to put a picture. Here. Yes. Um, and, uh, after that, he, uh, went and played the RC cars that's, at the park, which was about a block away. It was just a nice walk. That's where I met Luke. Yep. That's where you met Luke and, uh, dad was playing with RCs with you as well. Um, and then we came back home and, um. You asked me if I want to eat some burritos or something. You know, you made me burritos or I don't remember what. No. No. So the family was cooking up tacos, you know, tacos. cutting up the tomatoes and olives and lettuce and getting the meat done, the tortillas done and all this other stuff and whatnot. And uh, Saul was like, I'm so tired. I'm just going to go lay down. And I was just like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. So he goes downstairs. So I was living in the basement. It was a full furnished basement. That's what, how they kind of are in, is, uh, in Israel in Spokane, which I can give you a picture of his bed, which I do have, but it's going to have presents on it because it was for his birthday. Um, so he goes down and he lays in his bed and um, one hour passes and uh, dinner's ready. And I make him up a taco and I go downstairs and he's still napping. And I'm like, oh, it's only been an hour, you know, maybe he'll be fine. And I wake him up and oh my gosh, is he grouchy. And I'm just like, well, are you hungry? And he's just like, eh. And I'm just like, do you want me to make you a taco? Eh. That is well, uh, I'll make you a taco and I'm going to put it at the side for you for when you get hungry. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go back upstairs. Silence. <laughs> so I go upstairs and I make him a taco and um, a really nice full taco. Oh, yeah. um, and I put like another pl uh, paper plate on top of it, you know, and cover it up. Um, another hour passes. Another hour passes. <laughs> another hour passes. Okay, I'm going to bed now. It's like 9 p.m. at this point. I'm like, I'm going to bed. He's still asleep. I, am, I wasn't able to give him the tour of the house. I wasn't able to show him where the bathroom was and stuff. And I'm like, I just, hopefully you don't need to go to the bathroom. So uh, I go to bed. Um, and <laughs> I woke up at 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm like, Kira, I need to pee. No, he comes to me and he's just like. <laughs> what? What? I need to pee. Uh, <laughs> told you not to go to bed. Kira, I really need to go to the bathroom. I'm getting up. <laughs> I like drag myself out of bed. And um, go all the way up the stairs, through the kitchen, through the dining room, through the living room, to finally the bathroom going, there's the bathroom. I'm not waiting up for you. Good luck finding my bedroom. And I went all the way back to the bedroom i went back it to was sleep so dark i took it was a few very minutes dark to find like okay, so the reason the we basement? couldn't actually turn on all the lights was because one of my cousins was uh sleeping on the couch because we had other people over we had a uh, we had family friends over also we were, they were housing my mom and dad slava me um holly shraw no, no just holly uh lira and andrew and Lear and Andrew were uh, sleeping in my cousin's room, so my cousin uh, slept on the couch. It was like a bunch, a huge arrangement Gee. for a very tiny house. <laughs> so house. Yeah. yeah, the house was cute. I actually really enjoyed that house. Me it too. creaked though the boards because it's an old house. It, the boards creaked, but eh, it wasn't bad. So thankfully, Slava does come back downstairs. I vaguely hear him. I'm back to sleep though. 
And I then... went back to sleep too. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, oh, yeah. You got back to sleep. You know why? He snuck into my bed. That's why he's like. I was in a cuddly yeah. mood. <laughs> she, yeah, and I'm just sitting there going, I'm way too tired to like shove him back into his own bed. I was like, forget it. I don't, I don't even care at this point. He kind of shoved me in the morning. He's like, okay, get out. <laughs> well, yeah, we're not married, and you know, with my family, it's like there, you don't sleep in each other's beds. This is not how it works. So I was like, get back into your mattress before you're gonna go sleep with my parents in the other room. That's what's gonna end up happening. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that would actually happen or not, but that it would not funny. surprise me if it did. <laughs> so, yeah, it was actually really, really funny. Yeah. Uh, the next day... Uh, we did church stuff, no? Not that was church. later, Slava. That's uh, betrothal. That was the very next day. Okay. I think. Yes, we. Uh, it was... Um, I don't really know how to explain it to people. <laughs> Okay, we can skip that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was pretty much a very formal get together for mm -hmm. our family church. And uh, we got together and we were all really dressed up. And uh, we went, had fun. I really enjoyed it. It was super fun. It was very. It was more realistic for you. Realistic Israel is, a good is one. like. The things Israel does, Slav was just like, no. N no. And then when he saw what my church, our church did, the body, um, he's just like, yes, this, this cool is stuff. what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is life. This is very fruitful. I want this. Yeah. But you're going to get it because you were going to marry me. <laughs> yeah. So um, after that, we decided to... Uh, what we did after the, the meeting Texas Roadhouse oh. the next day or so which um, when we did the uh, the get together I'll, we'll put in some pictures of uh, some of the family portraits that we kind of did outside of mm -hmm. the restaurant that we had gone to uh, it was a really pretty place it was very very fancy place um, so the next day, we either went to Grandma and Grandpa's house or we went to the Texas Roadhouse for his birthday, and uh, that was fun too. Was... He got he had like this New York steak thing that was like this big. It was like huge. It was like the size of my head. It was like two of your heads. Two of my head. Not a tiny head. <laughs> it was actually. expensive too. You're yeah. like, this is what I want, and it's like fifty dollars or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, might the, have been less than that, but it was close enough. The best part about the Texas Roadhouse, it's called. Yeah, Texas Roadhouse. They called my name and put me on this uh, wooden horse, whatever that was. Oh, the saddle. The saddle. And yeah, it's like, they, oh, they put you on a saddle. I don't remember exactly with what. With a cowboy hat. Yeah, they put a cowboy hat on yeah. it. It's like. There's a video of that. I don't know. It's on Instagram. Uh, no, I sent, I have it sent to you on Facebook, I'm pretty sure. So we'll have to find it. So I, if we can find it, we'll put it in here. If not, I'm sorry, you're going to have to miss out. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun video. Yes. It's like, how old are you? <gasps> 26. <laughs> 26, now he thinks about it and he's like, oh my gosh, be, I'm almost 30. I'm almost, I'll be 29 in a few months. In just a few months, meaning next year he's going to be 30. We don't talk about that. Not yet. No, I'm I have uttered the forbidden number. Yeah, from, that's the forbidden number. <laughs> What's 30 in Russian? 30. 30. 30. 30. Actually, that's pretty good. You're natural. What's it in Hebrew? Shloshim. Shloshim. Psh, you're getting so good. Is it sexy? That's very sexy. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What I love about America. <laughs> <laughs> this, other than this lady <laughs> when i came to america i felt like my being belong in america like i, I it was your rightful place yeah it felt like a right i place. was i always felt that i don't belong in israel that i'm i'm here outcast, outcast and it's like i shouldn't be here it's like mm. i'm sorry yeah and the moment i landed landed in america i was like my, my soul belongs. You. What? My family also like loved you. 
still does love i mean not past tense yeah. loved. <laughs> it's just yeah no well, i just feel like my soul a million belong. bucks a, mil- a million bucks i feel like a million bucks a million those bucks. are your words you say that all the time <laughs> Yeah. You know, after oh. certain activities, you're like, I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> is, that, is that a blush coming on? Oh, yeah. I'm seeing it, pink cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. We got to 30 minutes again. Are we really? Oh, yeah, 31, actually. Oh, my gosh. I feel like we've just mostly been rambling. Have you even been telling the story? Oh, yeah, we did. Have we? Yeah, it was actually a pretty nice story. So. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, we're still, this is going to be a long video then because we're still at the beginning of the year. I haven't even spoken about my second time over. Well, that will be part. No, no, no. This is still the third year. We need to stay in the third year. So we can make part three, part one. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, after a week, Slava did have to go back home, which I was yeah. very upset. I really wanted him to take more time off. His his bosses loved him. He was a great worker. I think That's it's the complete problem. bullshit on how they did not give him more time off. I was honestly really mad about it. That was actually the problem. Like, because I was the best. Yeah, we're not going to let you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that at all. That's different. No. That really made me upset. Like, you're going to spend this much money to come over for a week? Really? So, um, you know, time was going by and I, uh, did you help me with my next ticket? P- paying for the next ticket? I don't remember. Yes, if you actually yeah, I, I did. So. I did. Yeah. I, um, I was on offer you because you said you had two things. It's like, you know, I'll pay you. Yeah, I you? didn't. Well, I didn't have a job at this time. So I was working at the hospital before I moved to Spokane. And then when I moved to Spokane, I was going to college for, um, a, uh, a sign language interpreting program. Mm-hmm. And, um, I didn't have a job. I didn't have my car or anything. And once I got, I was done with college, I still didn't have a job. So I was like, well, I have what's in my savings and I have about enough for half the plane ticket, hun. And I paid for So half, he paid yeah. for the other half. I'm pretty yeah, sure is what happened. Go. So um, I was like, well, I came over for two weeks, which kind of sucked only being able to come over for that little amount of time and then you came over for one week which really sucked because it was half the time that i had come over so how long should i come over for no, and we were months. like no no that's not what no. you said no. no 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 it just came out two three months is what we just decided so i ended up leaving uh we decided i was gonna come over after my birthday because it was my 21st birthday mm-hmm. and um i was like counting i'm like well I don't really want to come back in October because there was, there was other things going on in October. There's another uh, thing we do in the, uh, we have feast. So we didn't, yeah. Uh, which is for the church. So, um, I was like, I don't really want to come back in the middle of that. So how about November? (laughs) So I ended up coming back home. Was it in November or December that I went back home? You came home, you went back on December. December 3rd, I think, is actually what it was. It was the very, very beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so from um, September 19th to December 3rd, I was there for. So it's like two and a half months. September to October to November to, yeah, it was about maybe a little more than two and a half months. Um, And that was fun. Yeah. That was so much fun. So I uh, I get there and Slava says that he got me something for my birthday. And I didn't know what it was. Um, and then he ended up surprising me uh, a trip to a lot. Which was super fun, which is where the uh, Red Sea is. And that was uh, it, the best present I've ever had. Still is by far honestly that i was just that was so fun oh my gosh it was so much fun oh I had to do some i want to go back so bad <laughs> it was fun i did some string pulling strings from uh, from work to uh yeah get, uh, apparently all the, the uh all the hotels were completely packed full and stuff and he was like 
he decided to go to because he worked in the courthouse so he goes to the courthouse and he's talking to the people he knows uh some of the lawyers or uh judges or something and he's like hey I'm really trying to bring my girlfriend to a lot, but I don't know how I'm going to get a room. And they're just like, oh, we got you, Slava. Just a second. Just let me make a phone call. They make a phone call pretty much. And all of a sudden, Slava gets a room. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Even half the <laughs> With, price. Like, yeah, well, on top of that, half the price, which was absolutely amazing. And thank you to everyone that helped because that was the best birthday present I've ever had. The best. We will um, definitely pop in a few pictures from that entire... Somewhere here. Yeah, that entire trip. Uh, we went to an aquarium, which was oh, so super fun. fun. We went to... We went under the Red Sea, which was super fun. We went... Um, there was a pool at our hotel... Oh, I love the oh, pool. I was that was fun watching you swim. Yeah, I'm so like, I don't know how to swim, no, so it was just me no. swimming. <laughs> no, I was sitting and um, taking pictures. Oh, what else did we do, honey? We went to the ice mall, which was super fun. <laughs> um, and sadly, we were only there for two days, three nights, two days. Right. Okay, yeah, because we got there like late in the day. We had gotten to our room and we weren't really able to do anything. It was pretty much just go to the pool, have a little time and then that was our first night. We weren't right. there for the day. It was just that was our first night. And then uh, the next day we went to the, the... Is that when we went to the aquarium? No, the very next day. Yeah, so we went to the aquarium. That was our first day and then that was our second night. And then our it was our second day. And that's uh, when we went to the ice mall. And then uh, the third night, which I think is when we had the amazing dinner. <sighs> that was delicious. What holiday was that? What what was that? I, I want to say Sukkot, but I... Yes, no, yes, it was Sukkot. 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 Because when, you were, when we were going to the bus station to go to a lot, you were asking, oh, what are these ha small houses? What are these fruits? Because there's special fruits that you don't see throughout oh, the year. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little market as we're yeah. going to the buses. There was this little market outside of these very interesting looking fruits. But there was a bunch of this one type of fruit. And I'm just like, what is it? Yeah. I don't want to taste it. <laughs> yes, right. And I explained to you that these special fruits are just for this one holiday. Yeah. So I don't even know if they have names in English because they're... They probably do. Probably I just do. don't know what it is. <laughs> um, so then, you know, we did the... Uh, the dinner which was amazing so we have pictures from the aquarium which we'll put in here and then we got pictures of the ice mall which we did these uh my favorite thing was uh, putting our feet in the water where the feet come and eat all the dead skin on your feet i love that i've always wanted to do it that was fun yeah i really enjoyed that and I, I think we mostly have pictures of that rather than the full day um at the uh ice mall um and then uh we do have a picture too of the uh dinner that we had together very romantic dinner very romantic. and then the next day um which would have been like maybe the third day but it was we left in the morning so it was just two full days and three nights that we were there yeah yep yep that was a f that was fun yeah i really liked it a lot and then we came all the way back home and you know what we did you know what we did? We went to the beach. <laughs> Again. I love the beach. Like, okay, we got home. It's like four, four or five. It's like, oh, sunset. Let's yeah. go to the beach. Like, okay, no. no. Yeah, it You're was the amazing. birthday girl. You're, no. Yeah. Well, your birthday passed, but it was, amazing. It was still at the, at, and then, at the same time. And then I, Ina made me a, a birthday dinner pretty much. Yeah, my mom she, made her a birthday table. But I didn't get the special cake. Mm. We need to work mm. on that. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. I don't really actually mind, but it was amazing. She cooks really good food. Really yummy food. So. Yep. Uh, and then we, uh, when we got back from a lot, we started The Witcher from the very, very, very beginning. <laughs> and we finished it by the time I left. <laughs> yeah, most of the time you being for the second time we played a lot of the witcher yeah we play a lot star wars battlefront yeah we decided to call every single stormtrooper steve 
I don't yeah. even remember why, but every Stormtrooper is actually Steve. Yeah. We play a lot of Witcher. Uh, what else we did? I was working a lot. Movies of- we watched a few. Oh, of what's the guy's name? The actor. We watched like the, the, the each movie <sighs> that came up had this actor in it that always it just he just came up all the time. It was like one movie came up, he was the the main butler, actor in the movie. Something Butler, something Butler. We might have to look look up his name uh, real fast. Um, so. Uh, and then after we finished that movie, we would watch another movie, like, right after it, maybe the next day, and, um, the same actor, and we're just like, oh, okay, you know, it's only been two movies, and then the next day, or, like, two days later, it was, um, Jared, uh, Jared Butler? Gerard? Jared? Jer- Jared. There we go. Jared Butler. Is that his name? Yeah. I don't really know. Honestly. Oh, okay. I remember how that happened. Uh, but wait, but okay. wait. So then, you know, a couple days later, we go, you know, we he comes home from work and we're like, oh, let's watch another movie. The same actor again. I'm just like, dude, we ended up watching, I swear, like six movies six that he was movies. in. And then when we're like, okay, we've been movied out. You know what happens? He comes to Israel. I'm in Israel. And all of a sudden he comes to Israel and it's like all over the Israeli news and everything. I'm just like, what He's very heck? pro-Israel. Apparently fun. it was really weird. No, I didn't run into him, but Actually, it was A friend of funny. mine did. Oh, but a friend Until of yours did. He <laughs> had a hotel in Elat. Oh, really? I think after we left Elat, he came there. That's funny. Yeah. The funny um, thing is, uh, I asked Chris what kind of good movies you recommend. And he said, well, you should watch The Ugly Truth. And that's where it started. It's like, oh, this actor. Oh, this actor again. Yeah. It's like every day. There was like, like a marathon. Ugly Truth is hilarious. Oh, that's so oh, very funny. He has pretty much all the movies he plays in is like really funny. I, I, I really enjoyed all of them. <laughs> Did you know that he was the main actor for the 300? <gasps> Do you remember when I was like, Slava, we need to watch a romantic movie. <sighs> One that's sad and will make you cry. So, of course... I got him to watch The, the Notebook. Note. Oh, so, <laughs> yeah, The Notebook. Um, at the very end, you know how... Spoilers! Uh, right. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, I, I won't do any spoilers. I don't... Even though it's a classic and I don't want to... If anyone hasn't watched it, I don't really want to spoil that. But it's, you know, it has a very sad ending. It's actually a really happy ending, but it's also a very sad ending. <laughs> and I'm over here going... <gasps> And I'm like totally bawling my eyes out. And Slava looks at me and I'm like, Can't even think. And Slava's just like, Are you okay? And I'm just like, How are you not crying? And Slava's just like, I mean, it was a good movie. <laughs> and I'm just like crying. So, right after the notebook, oh my we watch another movie, which was what Marley and Me. Is that what it's called? I think or, it's go like that. Yeah, it's a, it's over. A, it was a dog, and it was about this dog's life and stuff. And in the end, the dog dies. Oh like, my Like tragically gosh. or something like that. And Slav is over there going, <laughs> and I'm just looking at him, and I'm just like, Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts like crying at me. I and was I'm just crying like, like a child. <laughs> when you <laughs> killed the dog. It was so funny. <laughs> you were just thinking about it. That makes me teary. It was honestly funny. <laughs> well, apparently, different things make, up, make us cry. <laughs> That was really, really, that was probably honestly like the highlight of my trip <laughs> was like how I, I was bawling, but you don't understand the definition of bawling until you meet this guy after that movie. <laughs> that was really funny. Are you getting teary? Oh my gosh, Choo Choo. Yeah, he, he was just, he's glistening a little bit of wetness in his eyeballs. Yeah, okay, let's switch subjects. <laughs> The dog no. tragically dies, and he's never to be seen from his owner again. Shut up. <laughs> Can I get a little more few tears? No. <laughs> I'm cruel, I know. <laughs> Anyways. um, 
pretty much when I was there for three months. It was actually, because I was there for so long, it was really hard for me to leave. It actually kind of just was like, it just felt natural. Like We kind of just acted, well, acted. Just, it was so natural for us to communicate and, you know, we kind of felt like we were married. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel like, oh, she's my girlfriend. No, no. we really felt connected. Like, yeah. In a, I, I shouldn't be leaving without you kind of way. Like, yeah. we were supposed to be leaving together. We're together forever kind of a thing. Yeah. No. We really felt married, honestly. Mm, glue to each other. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. It was a really hard goodbye. Really hard goodbye oh, for me. Oh, wow. When it was probably, like, the hardest goodbye. Um, And then when I got home, I felt so lonely i oh felt so gosh. lonely i've actually i've never been in you know relationship and stuff and you know i went and met him he came over and met me but after living with him for three months that was that was really hard not to see him again which makes me have a lot of respect for the military families husband and wives it's that's that's hard because they it can is. be away for like a year or even longer than Years. that and that's just oof that's just oof. I just, whew, that's hard. So, um, thankfully, Slava ended up coming back that the next February, which we won't really get into that because and what, what happened after that, which is going to be engagement and marriage, which was not planned. Mm. It was not planned at all. That's all so, you'll hear for now. If, if it was planned, we would have totally done the whole 90-day fiancé thing. Yeah. But it wasn't planned, no. so we didn't get to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so. more out of the blue. So, that will be on the mm. next video. Yep. Which will be part four. I didn't divide. Three chitiri. Right. Chitiri. Yeah. So. Uh. Thank you for watching and uh, supporting this series. I mean, so far, it yeah, has I become mean, a series. <laughs> no, we keep uploading because you actually you request it, not because like yeah, let's just do it because no. Yeah. I mean, we like love doing it, but it's even more fun knowing that we do it because people really want to listen and hear us. So it's it's extra fun. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we we really appreciate it a lot. So yep. thank you. So pretty much oh. all of this year, to summarize, it was just a lot of coming back and forth. Yep. Go him coming to America, and then me going back to Israel, and then year was this? Even though it's part four, is it year four, or is it year three? I think this is year three. We had the first year, the second year. This is the third year. And then what we're talking about now is the third year, meaning the next year, which would be year four, was the engagement. And other things. The marriage and the pregnancy. That would be all of that, which will be in the next video. The next video. Yeah, so we'll see you in part four. And then part five will be up to where we are now. <laughs> Take care guys. Thank you. Ciao. Bye-bye.